Let's talk about some inbound call settings, how to forward text messages, uh, inbound phone calls, where to route those, all that fun stuff. So from our tools menu over here, uh, we have an inbound section. This is where we're going to spend a little bit of time. Uh, before we jump into this inbound section, if we come up to settings and go to our profile, we're going to see a call forwarding phone number. So here, what you're going to want to do, this is where you're going to have the number that you want text messages forwarding to. This doesn't necessarily have to be where the calls get transferred. So if you want text messages coming to your cell phone as well as your dashboard, make sure to put your personal cell phone number uh, right here on the call forwarding number. Okay. We can, again, we can still take phone calls and route those a different place, but to get the text to come through, that's what we're going to want. There is your personal cell phone number. Now, when we go back over to tools and we come to inbound, uh, let's come over to our campaign list and you can see that this phone number that I have for this account, uh, it, all of my settings are right here. So if I wanted to click on edit, and what this is saying is my inbound call settings is right now placing every person in this demo account as a lead. Uh, in, in normal accounts, we have them set to go to the inbound group. So when someone calls in to your agency elephant number, agency elephant by default has to place them on some sort of group. Well, I know that inbound isn't tied to any other automations, right? Like if I add someone to the inbound group, I know that it's not going to start a drip sequence because I don't have any drips assigned to my inbound group, just inbound calls. Okay. Now, if you want to get text messages to come to your cell phone, all you've got to do is make sure that this is marked. Yes. When this is marked, yes, it will send text messages to whatever phone number you have in your profile. OK, if you have no, it's just going to come to your agency elephant dashboard. If we select yes, it's going to come to my personal cell phone. But let's say I have another staff member that I want text messages to go to as well as to my phone. You would just type in their phone number in this box below and hit submit. OK, so that is how you forward the text where you want them to go. The next screen that pops up is going to be your calling tree. So for this one, if I let's go ahead and remove this. If I wanted all phone calls to forward directly to my office number, right? You call Agency Elephant and it rings into the office. All I would do is drag and drop dial, put in my agency phone number. I usually run with 45 second timeout on this. This is going to allow my office number to ring up to 45 seconds. Now what that's doing is that's giving my office number enough time for the voicemail there to always pick up. This is going to eliminate you having to check voicemail in Agency Elephant on your cell phone and at your office. So I just forward everything to my office. Now you can forward this to a cell number if you wanted to. If you're a one man show and you want it coming to your cell phone, you can do that. Now. Here's a cool feature that I want to explain real quick. Let's say I do want this coming to my cell phone, right? I'm going to forward it 6451154. I'm going to forward every call into my agency elephant number directly to my cell phone. But I don't know about you. I get a lot of spam calls. So one way to get around that is we can have this ring into the caller ID of the caller. So Bob down the street calls me. It's going to ring in right to my phone, just like Bob would be if he called me direct. Okay. Or you can do caller ID of the inbound campaign line, meaning I can set this. If I select that, what's going to happen now is every forwarded phone call is going to come from Agency Elephant, my Agency Elephant number. So if I save Agency Elephant in my cell phone, now I at least know that this is a work related call versus a spam call versus, you know, a friend of a friend who like whatever that is, those other calls are. I now know how to answer this phone because it's always going to ring in as agency elephant line. I might not know who's on the other end yet, but at least now I know how to answer the phone. So these are your call and your text message setup. This is where you would do it from. Um, hope that answers all your questions.